What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of my podcast, Happy Days, with me, Callum Church. I hope that all of my uh, UK listeners are loving the weather as much as I am. I know it's been a, it's been a long time since we've had the summer come. Um, and as you can probably tell if you're watching on YouTube, I've been enjoying the sun. My face is pretty burnt at the moment. But anyways, that's besides the point. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about mindset. Today is an episode on mindset and I've... I've spoken about this on the podcast and I'll speak about it again, okay? First of all, to start off today's episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about the two types of mindsets that you get in the world, because that's the thing. There are two types of people in the world. There's those with a fixed mindset, and then there's those with a growth mindset. Now, what am I talking about when I say these words, fixed mindset and growth mindset? A fixed mindset is the type of person that believes that success comes with luck. Success comes with talent. You know, success is just given to you. You have to be lucky to get uh, success or it has to be passed down through rich families or fortunate families or, or whatever. It just happens to you. That's what someone with a, with a fixed mindset would think. But, you know, if you can change your mindset, you can change your life, okay? And what we want to do is to start adopting a growth mindset. Now, the type of person that would have a growth mindset is someone who would think these things. They think that they can create their own wealth. They can do what they want. If there's something out there, they can go get it. They can go earn it, you know. Or they will just improve until they get there or get closer to what they want, okay? Now, you see the difference, okay? One mindset is totally playing the victim card. You know, life is happening straight up to them and they're not going to get anywhere because let me tell you that your mindset is the most important factor in your life. Your mindset is like a compass. Your mindset is like a map. It tells you where you're going to go, okay? You can tell what your future's gonna be by looking at your mindset. Look at the mindset of all of the most successful people in the world. Think of anyone who succeeded and, you know, study their mindset, you know, model their mindset, copy them even if you wish, and you will go exactly where they have gone. I promise you that. It's all down to your mindset. Oh, well, maybe not exactly where they were, but, you know, towards that direction. I promise you that, that your mindset is like a map towards your future success, okay? So it's all about what your mind is set on, you know, mindset. That's what it is. If your mind is set on, you know, having, uh, you know, focusing on growth and focusing on earning things, growing as a person, you know, making it happen until you get there, you will get there, I promise you that. But if your mind is set on life happening to you, then life is just gonna continue to happen to you. You know, if you spend your entire life with a fixed mindset thinking that success only goes to those that are lucky, then you will be unlucky your whole life and you will never see success, okay? And even when you do, you know, you'll probably lose it straight away anyways because your mind is not set for the right config, fin, con, configuration. You know, your mind is not set correctly in order to attract and to bring in and, you know, go out and get what you want in your life. You know, if your mind is set on success coming through talent, then you will spend your whole life unsuccessful if you're not talented, you know. If your mind is set on success happening to you, you know, you'll be spending your entire life waiting around and success is never going to come your way. You know, I, I see so many people out there in the world that are, you know, that seem to think that success just happens to people. You know, like you, like you win the lottery all of a sudden and that's what makes you rich. Or, you know, you get lucky in a relationship and suddenly you find yourself in love with a person. You know, that's not, that's not how it works. You've got to, you've got to create that space in your life. You've got to Focus your mind and, and, and set your mind on what it is you truly want. You know, it's, it's, it's like saying, hey, I want to I wanna earn £100 today, but then you don't even put the work in. You just sit there and expect £100 to just fly through the window or something. Of course, it's not going to come that way, but that's the thing. It sounds so stupid, but many people are living their lives like this. Many people are living their lives with the, with the type of mindset that, th that these things aren't going to, you know only come to them if you're lucky or if you're given it and what you're actually doing in that moment that's, a, that's an affirmation don't forget that that's an affirmation every time that you believe that these things will only come to you through luck or through being given to you or gifted to you 
or, or, or through just, just natural talent at birth, which is a pure lottery anyways, we all know that. You know, if, if you think these ways, then you're affirming to yourself that you don't deserve success because you don't already have it or that it has to come to you in ways in which you're, they're gifted to you and that you don't earn it. And, you know, that's even going to further cement the fact that you will not be successful in your life if you don't master your mindset. So this is why I talk about mindset so much on the podcast is because so many people, A, get it wrong, um, but B, just, just stay ignorant to that fact. You know, the reason why they get it wrong is because they're not educated on the power of mindset. And I guess that's what I'm trying to do with this podcast. So anyways, what is the key to all of this? Because it's all well and good me talking about uh, fixed mindsets and the fact that everyone needs to get into a growth mindset. The vast majority of people listening to this podcast probably have a growth mindset because you're, you, you know, you're, you're focusing on really constructive forms of content. Um, but what is the key to all of this? The key of today's episode, and, and, and what I really want you to take away, is something I've spoken about on the podcast before, but it is so incredibly powerful, and it's something which came up uh, today. We, you know, just I was just listening to a podcast, and it came up, and it really got me thinking about it again, because this is one of the most important things, and it relates entirely to mindset. It's a part of your mindset, and it's a type of mindset which is really going to, you know, hit the afterburners on your growth, hit the afterburners on you know, your success or whatever it is that you want in life, you know, whether it be, you know, romance or wealth or health or any of these kinds of things that which we try and, you know, achieve in our personal development journeys. You know, this, this really is the trick to, you know, attaining and retaining it all. So what am I talking about? Earlier today, I was listening to a podcast, and this podcast had a man called Jake Humphrey in it. Now, if you don't know who Jake Humphrey is, if you're not from the UK, or maybe you just don't know who he is, he is a sports presenter. Okay, he's on he's on BT Sport. He he you know he's a he's a host of the host of the channel, host host of the the sports shows and that kind of thing. Um, but he's also got a podcast, and this podcast is called the High Performance Podcast, and he talks with a bunch of high performance people. So he talks to Sports people, you know, business people, just people who have really hit, you know, a high level of performance, you know, Olympians, these kinds of people. And he interviews them, basically, and he's just fascinated by what truly makes people successful. It's something I'm fascinated by myself, you know. And he spoke about on this podcast the trick to success. He said this, this, this single thing were, was the building blocks to anyone's success, okay. And he summed it up in one word responsibility. That one word is what we really need to grab hold of and really, you know, master in our lives and rule our lives with responsibility. Okay. This is one of the most important parts to a, you know, a mindset built for success is someone who really takes responsibility. Jack Humphrey said it was the trick. Um, and, you know, absolute and total responsibility for absolutely everything in your life. You know, if you're late for a meeting because the bus was late, that's your fault. You've got to take responsibility for that. If you're not earning enough money at the end of the month to pay the bills or whatever, you've got to take responsibility for that and, you know, try and find a solution, try and hustle, try and work it out. If you are unhappy in your relationships or maybe you're searching for romance and love and you know, all of these beautiful things which come with a partner or, or, or whatever it is you want. You've got to take responsibility for that. You've got to go out there and make sure that you are, A, authentic to yourself because that's so important to a relationship. And maybe I should do an episode on relationships. Maybe I should. Let me know. Drop me a message if you think I should. But yeah, you've got to, A, be authentic and, and B, you know, you've really got to become the type of person that you know, would attract the type of person that you want, right? And I'm not saying be unauthentic with that. I'm saying be authentic enough to attract the right person for you, okay? But hey, that's for another episode probably. Let me know if you want a uh, relationships episode on the podcast because that could be quite good. Um, but yeah, you've got to take absolute responsibility for absolutely everything because what is in your responsibility bubble is within your control. And if it's in your, within your control, you can change that. You can make it better. You can get that, you know? So if you take responsibility in your relationships, if you take responsibility in your career, if you take responsibility um, in your, you know, whatever it is, you know, health or, you know, fitness, whatever it is, mental health, anything in the whole 
personal development sphere, the whole personal development space. If you take responsibility for that, then you can master it. You know, it's like a superpower. I spoke about it on the, on the podcast before. I said responsibility is a superpower because every time that we take responsibility for something, it, it, it's in our control. You can change that. You can master that. You know, how powerful is that? You know, think of something which you want in your life, right? If you take responsibility for that one thing, then you can get that, right? You can work towards that and make it yours. That's the most empowering thing about this. So just by tweaking your mindset just a little bit, you know, going from, say, a fixed mindset to a growth mindset, the kind of mindset that believes that if you take responsibility for something, you can, you can, you know, change it, make it better, get it, whatever it is you want, you know. If you can just tweak that just a little bit, just a little mindset, that's it. Your path is going to change entirely. You'll be on a totally different path, totally, totally different path towards success or what it is you want or, or whatever, you know, I'm talking broadly here. But you will get that, you know? So think about what do you want? Do you want wealth? Do you want health? Do you want love? Do you want ro romance and relationships and that? Because you've got to go out there and get that, you know? No one's going to, no one's going to go out there and get that for you. You've got to do it yourself. So think about what you want and then ask yourself this, how can I get that? Okay, who can help me get that? You know, what do I need to do in order to get that? You know, start thinking about these things. You know, shift your mindset just that little bit. You know, and then it's gonna, you're gonna get there. You're gonna take these steps, little steps, little baby steps towards that. And then suddenly you start picking it up, you're striding, and then all of a sudden you're sprinting towards what it is you want in your life. And these things will come towards you, you will attract them. So start asking yourselves these questions, work on them. And you'll see that these will come into your life. I guarantee. Why is this? Because mindset is absolutely everything. You change your mindset. You've identified that only you can do it. And if you can change your mindset, you can change your life. Now that's all that I have for today's episode. I do truly hope that you did enjoy it as always. If you did, please consider leaving a five star review on Apple Podcasts because it really does help the show. Please make sure that you do that, guys. And also, Drop me a message on Instagram. I love hearing from you guys. It's honestly the best thing. So rewarding hearing all of your feedback from the, uh, from the podcast episode. So make sure you, you drop me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at callum.g.church. And again, I do truly hope you did enjoy today's episode and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. So there you go. That's the end of the show. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe on your podcasting app of choice so you can download and listen as each episode is released. If this episode helped you in any way, tell your friends, tell your family, maybe even leave a cheeky review on Apple Podcasts. It really helps the show. But that's all for now. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next episode released shortly. Take care.